Welcome to Cryptonomics. In such a young market with a completely different market dynamic, how do you value cryptocurrencies? In this video, we value five of the top cryptocurrencies right now based on a price to network value multiple, and we show you how you can do it yourself. Network effect is a term describing how you value a network based on the number of users on the network. A common example to explain the value of a network is a phone network. If at inception the telephone network only has two users, a third user will only connect if he needs to communicate with the two first users. By this definition, possible users that will enter the network are limited by the two pioneering users. Only people wishing to connect with these two users will actually enter the network. As the network expands, the number of reachable users grows, and thus the demand for the network increases. This, in turn, increases the value for even more users. And this is where Metcalf's law comes into play. Robert Metcalf, the co-inventor of Ethernet, proposed there was a relationship between the value of a network and the size of the network. Metcalf stated that the value of a network is proportional to the number of connected users. Metcalf's law was initially used to calculate the value of a telecom network, but in recent time it has been used to value large social media giants like Facebook or Chinese Tencent. For more information on how cryptocurrencies follow Metcalf's law, check the article by PhD Ken A. Labs in the description. In equity analysis, there are a number of well-known ratios used to value companies, like price to sales, price to book, or price to earnings. Using Metcalf's law, it is possible to apply a unique ratio for cryptocurrencies, price to network value. In equities, a stock with a higher ratio generally implies that investors are expecting more growth from these companies, and thus a greater return. Similarly, for a price to network value. A crypto with a higher ratio means that investors have a higher expectations for the network to create value for each user compared to a crypto with a lower ratio. But there are several metrics that could be used to describe the number of connected users. And remember, the value is calculated as the square of the number of connected users. Possible metrics include the number of unique IP addresses in the network, the volume of transactions in the network, and the number of wallets in the network. Since it's hard to deduce the number of unique IP addresses per user, and since a lot of wallets in the crypto ecosystems are either dead or inactive, we choose to evaluate based on the transaction volume and the number of active addresses in the latest 24 hours. And here's the moment you've all been waiting for. The lowest value cryptocurrency, according to this multiple, is... Ethereum. The results from this calculation are probably in line with what a lot of people have guessed. But it's also surprising at the same time. Using daily transactions as the metric for connected users, Bitcoin is by far the highest valued cryptocurrency at the moment. In comparison, the lowest valued cryptocurrency is actually Ripple, followed closely by Ethereum. And if you use the daily active addresses, we can say that the highest value crypto is Bitcoin Cash, which only had about 75,000 active addresses the past 24 hours. And the lowest value cryptocurrency is Ethereum. Overall, this makes Ethereum the winner when it comes to being the lowest valued cryptocurrency. Note that this is not the perfect valuation metric. These cryptocurrencies use different consensus mechanisms, and McCaff's law also assumes that each node carries equal value, which might not be the case in reality. This means that you shouldn't invest solely based on this valuation. And remember, always do your research before buying a cryptocurrency. So in this hectic market, the number of daily transactions and active addresses quickly changed based on the performance of the market. As an example, these calculations were made on the 15th of January, opposed to today, the 16th of January, when we are recording, where the market has dropped nearly 20%, which will certainly affect the results. But using this valuation metric will make you a more informed investor. And remember, having an edge is always important in your trading. Thanks for watching this episode of Cryptonomics, guys. If you want more valuations of crypto assets, please hit the subscribe button. Leave us a comment telling us what you want us to evaluate next. And hit the like button. Good night.